managing your service technicians or maintenance workers is easy inside RPM Pro. When you're logged into your software, simply scroll down on your left hand side menu to admins as we're adding a new admin account and then click on service rep. When you're on the service rep page, this is the page where you'll get an overview of all service reps that you have inside the system. We currently have none, that's why the table is empty. We're going to be adding a new service technician today, so click on the green Add Service Technician Easy Access button on the top left of your page. As you can see, the account type will be normal because it's a service rep and the amount, uh, account admin role is a service technician. We're going to call this account service at rpmpro.com. Remember, put in a strong password to keep your RPM Pro safe. and then enter the admin's first name and last name. We're going to call this service test. When you have finished filling in all of the information on the form, click the green button at the bottom, add admin. As you can see, we're back on the all service technicians page, but now with the green bar saying the new admin landlord account has been created and set to active, and we can see service test has appeared here on the table. As you can see, we've got the red button on the right to delete the admin account. We don't want to do that, but if we did, we'd get the pop-up and we could cancel it from there. And we can click on the name to actually go in to service test. Service at rpmpro.com is now a valid account to log into the RPM Pro system so that this service technician can log in, see and keep track of all of his or her maintenance reports, and keep everything up to date. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or queries contact support at rpm-pro.com.